welcome to Temple Smash episode 1302. Our format's gonna look a little bit different this time, but we promise it's still as funny as it always is. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hi everyone, welcome to Book Club. Hope nobody spent too much time reading Kill a Mockingbird this weekend. <laughs> Not me, that's for certain. I read the whole thing on the drive over here. It took me five minutes. You read this whole book in five minutes? <laughs> I'm the best damn reader there is. I read like 70 other books across the course of this weekend too. I just had them lined up one after the other. I even got one of those reading headaches. You know the type if you read as much as I do. <laughs> By God, do I love reading. And let me tell you, I know how to do it. That's awesome, Marvin. Um, well, talking about To Kill a Mockingbird, who here has some thoughts on Atticus Finch? I love Atticus Finch. The relationship between him and Scout is so beautiful. I agree, I agree, and it's so interesting to me how thoroughly, just how thoroughly, the author was able to humanize Atticus Finch despite the fact that he's only a mockingbird. You know, Atticus Finch wasn't actually the Mockingbird, right? That's just the title. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, metaphorically speaking, it's a metaphor. You know, the type of thing that you'd understand if you, if you read as much as I do. I mean, God almighty, do I love reading. Oh, and uh, I know how to do it. OK. Um, so based on that, would anyone add anything to the story to, you know, enhance it, make it better? I mean, honestly, how can you prove one of the greatest pieces of American literature? Uh, I, I can think of one thing, actually. Um, uh, more pictures, more pictures. I just think the pictures really, it really just help the, the reader visualize the story, you know? I mean, <laughs> what, we're supposed to get all of it from the words? Yes. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I, mean, I, I have a friend, actually. Um, his name is his name is Marvin. His 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 name is, is Barvin. Barvin is his name, and he um he's not very good at reading. In fact, he um, is 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 deeply embarrassed to come to book club. And so I just think that for Barvin's sake, all the books that we read here, or really just honestly, all books in general, is front to back, chock full of pictures. That's how it should be. You know, next time we pick a book for book club, um, I'll definitely make sure to think um, of Mar Marvin when yeah. I select a book. Yeah, that'd be good. I'm, I'm sure he would appreciate that. Yeah, I, he, uh, I wanted to help him out um, with this past book, you know, To Kill a Mockingbird, so I actually um, I drew, drew a picture that just tells the whole plot, right as it is. Oh, my God. oh, oh that, that, that's a great drawing, man. <laughs> is it? And, but, you know, it, it doesn't really have anything to do with this. Yeah. I read the book. I, I, I know how to. It's literally called To Kill a Mockingbird. I think I'm pretty spot on. Right. Okay, moving on. Um, so one of my favorite things about reading is all the quotes and dialogue in books. I wrote down a few myself in my book, but does anybody, anybody else? Have a favorite quote. Yeah, 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 I got something, I got something, I got something, me. Um, oh, shit. This is by, this is by the Mockingbird himself, Atticus Finch. Oh, Mockingbird, uh, why do you fly so high? Mockingbird, mocking. Lying to kill a mockingbird. I know you, mockingbird. I understand your kind. You want me to kill you, mockingbird? No. I want you to kill me. Late at night, when I lie awake alone, I shed. Mockingbird tears when I see you in my mind's eye so high. Flying. Mocking. Bird. That was beautiful, man. You should be an author. What? I, I, I don't know how to read. I, mean, I, 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 I 
don't read. I don't read. I just, I do read. I do read. I could be, I could be an author. I could be an author. I just, in general, I don't read. I mean, I do read. I just, I just sigh. I, I, I just, I just. Uh, my father was killed by an author? Oh, oh my god. I didn't know. Uh, that's, that's why I never learned how to read. What? I mean, that, that's, a, that's why I choose not to read. That's why I, I, I choose not to. Uh, hi, I have an appointment at 2.30. Oh, you're here for couples therapy? No, I'm here for regular. No, 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 no. The therapists are a couple? Like, there's two of them? Double the therapist, double the help? Hello, Hello and welcome. Please, Please give yourself permission to enter room 1B. They do great work. We want to introduce you to our practice. We found that we work very well as a psychiatric unit. So even though there's two of us, it'll feel like you're talking to one doctor. We're so in sync that we even finish each other's. So how are you feeling today? I I'm sorry, I I'm a little confused. I thought I booked an appointment with Sarah Abramowitz. You, you did. did. My name is Sarah. And mine's Abramowitz. Your first name is Abramowitz. Yeah, it's Irish. What brings you in today? Um, well, I've, I've been having some trouble sleeping. Um, I have anxiety and that's been keeping me up recently. Sounds great. I am so sorry. Before we continue, uh, can we just have one little sec? I thought we decided it was my day for what brings you in. You started talking about your name. I just wanted to get back on track. I didn't even bring it up this time. They brought it up. I'm sorry, I, I did bring it up. Um, so back to my sleeping. Yes, of course. Jamie, uh, tell us more. Well, I- Are you listening? Yes, Sarah. Jamie's having trouble sleeping? Sleeping, yes. Oh, so your ears do work? Funny how they seem not to when I asked you to pick up my mother from the airport last week. I'm sorry, I'll go right after work today. She's been there for nine days, and she hasn't picked up her phone for four. Well, if you love your mother so much, maybe you should marry her. <clears throat> right. So what were we talking about? Your, your late stage herpes. No, you have late stage herpes. Two people can have late stage herpes, Sarah. You always do this. You always have to brag about your herpes. You know, I have herpes too, but you don't see me running around town shoving it in people's faces. Should I go? No, stay. Settle this first, Jim. Do I shove it in people's faces? My herpes? My late stage herpes? Do I shove that in people's faces, Jamie? Do I? Is it in your face right now, my herpes? How close to your face are my herpes? Do I- That's it. We're getting separate chairs. What? First separate beds, now separate chairs? What's next? We unclip? But what if I get lost in the supermarket? You know I like to ask the deli workers questions. Um, I think I'm just gonna go. Was it just me or? That guy sucked shit. So rude. Some people need therapy. Everybody, everybody stop at once. 
I have horrible news. What happened? There's been a murder. Miss Green. She's been found dead in the study. Oh my goodness, who would do such a thing? All we know is that the premises have been secured and that nobody's been in or out of the house for the last three hours. So that means that the murderer must be one of you. So does this mean we're not going to eat? What? Well, you know, for the past like three hours, we've been building up to this big dinner. Look, we're just going to cancel it. Mrs. Green has been murdered. We're not canceling dinner. We need to find the culprit to make sure everyone's safe. I mean, it could be any one of you. We need to make sure that nobody leaves this room, because they could be in grave danger. Still, you could have told us that we should have eaten before. I could not have anticipated this. This came as a surprise to all of us. But still, pretty rude if you ask me. I, I don't think you understand the seriousness of the situation. I don't think you understand how hungry I am! I'm, I'm not sure what to say. So what are we going to do to get past this? We need to find out who the murderer is. So if someone confesses, then we can eat? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, so what's it going to be? I... Well, it can't be me, because if I confess to this murder, then I won't be able to eat. And that's been my whole thing for the past few minutes. I am not going to confess to something I didn't do. We need to find out who the murderer is. I mean, somebody should confess. He seems hungry. I feel bad. See? She gets it! Enough with this tomfoolery. Will anybody who stepped foot in the study at any point during the day go to this side of the room? Oh, God! Now we're splitting up into groups? Come on! Ugh. Thank God I brought my own silverware to eat this. Oh, my God! Wait a second. That's the murder weapon. You have to kill Miss Green. Okay, 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 you got me. But I get my last meal, right? No! We need to turn you in immediately. But, but, come on! It's been my whole thing for the last few minutes. And what, you're just gonna eat without me? Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. But, you, you know me. I'm always hungry. No! Don't try and coin a catchphrase. We're taking you to jail. Fine. Has this ever happened to you? You're seated, relaxed, and ready for your non-stop flight from Seattle to Jacksonville. But just after liftoff, a baby starts screaming and does not stop for the duration of the flight. You think you've got a handle on everything in life, but for that six hours and 45 minutes, you are powerless. Your happiness rests in the tiny, balled up fist of an infant, and it's not showing any signs of quieting down. Boy, do we have the solution for you! Introducing the latest service from Enterprise Plane Solutions, Baby Be Grounded. With Baby Be Grounded, we take extra steps to ensure that infant never makes it into the air. But how does it work? We take a variety of measures to eliminate the child's access to the aircraft. First, we'll place a four ounce bottle of lotion onto the baby's person, one ounce over the legal limit for carry-on items, thus stopping the baby at security. Stop that baby! But what if that bottle of lotion is discarded and the infant is able to proceed to the aircraft? Well, that's where Heather comes in. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Hi, I noticed that you have a baby and I thought I should let you know about a recent study that showed that babies suffer severe damage to their ankles when they spend prolonged periods of time at high altitudes. Is that true? I'm inclined to believe it. Oh, we better take Amtrak then. Thanks. Oh wait, what if that situation didn't go suspiciously smooth and the parents disregarded that woman's perfectly reasonable warning? Well, in that case, there's only one thing left to do. Get that baby kicked off the plane. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Is everything all right over here? I'm really sorry to bother you, but this baby is harassing me. What? How can he harass someone? He's a baby. He called me a douche canoe. <gasps> Twice. Is that true? Sir, I'm going to need you to answer me. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to exit the plane. 
He's a baby. How can he? This is ridiculous. You're going to be hearing from our lawyer. Sir, come with me. Baby, be grounded. Because nobody deserves to be subjected to a baby. Enterprise Plan Solutions is not responsible for any infants or their guardians being placed on the no-fly list following measures taken by the Baby Be Grounded Service. A new phone case? How did you know? Well, you talk about it all the time, so... Thanks so much, Carol. Alright, so who had Carol uh, for the secret Santa? Anybody? Well, it looks like, oh, Matthew, you had a... You are supposed to buy Carol again. Matthew! <laughs> oh, oh, shit, right. Hold on. Sorry. Oh. Did you forget about the Secret Santa? I mean, you've been talking about this so much, you need to be more on top of your emails. No, 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 no. I did not forget about the Secret Santa. I just didn't get her anything. What, what do you mean? She didn't deserve anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> there is literally only one rule of Christmas, and it's that Santa only gets you gifts if you're nice. If you're naughty, you get nothing. You guys must know what I'm talking about. This isn't like a thing that I know. No, made up. don't worry. We all know what you're talking about. <laughs> Good, I was worried. No, it's just that this is a, you know, an office secret Santa with like a twenty dollar maximum. So if you didn't get Carol again, just say so. <laughs> I already said I definitely did not forget about the secret Santa. It's just that Carol's been pretty shitty this year, so I got her nothing on purpose. Um, doesn't seem fair that Carol gets nothing just because Matthew clearly forgot about the secret Santa, so I'm thinking that we take the gift that was bought from Matthew, give that to Carol, and we call it a day. Sound good? <laughs> Actually, that sounds fucking horrible. How is that fair to me? You know, I show up to work every other week for the entire year, and now I get no gift because none of you understand the rules of Christmas? You're not getting a gift because you didn't buy anything. And honestly, you're being really rude. Rude? Oh, you want to see me be rude? Oh, Max, that deodorant you wear smells horrible, and it makes me want to throw up. Carol, you are terrible at your job, and it blows my mind that you still work here. And Mike, I... I can't even think of a specific reason, but you just might be the worst person that I've ever met in my entire life. Hey, why are you saying all of this right now? What do you mean? I literally, you thought you literally just said, I'm tired of the nice Matthew, I want to see him be rude and get fired up. I never said that. Then who said it? Nobody, Nobody did. did. Honestly, you're making this pretty miserable for all of us right now, so I think it's best if you just go home. <laughs> all right, fine, I, fine. I, I guess I will go home. Oh, would you look at that? I guess I did get Carol a gift. I totally forgot about that. Happy holidays, Carol. She's a fitness spinner. Now that's a good gift. So that's why you shouldn't take your baby to church. Now onto the weather. Uh, it appears that our regular weatherman Pete Lightning is out today, so as uh, cousin Billy is filling in, Take it away, Billy. I'm Billy Lightning, and I'm doing the weather today. <laughs> oh, stop. You are too kind. Right, sorry, let me, uh, let me get to it. Today, it is gonna... What? What are you pointing to? You want me to read all that? I thought I was supposed to predict the weather. By the way, uh, where's the weather map? You know, with all the, uh... The clouds and colors and stuff, you, you guys forgot to put it in here. It's just a big green wall. Oh, wait, was I supposed to bring that? Oh, oh my god. Pete didn't tell me. Now that's movie magic. Wait, can you guys put me in space? Sorry. Wait, 
I, I can't, hold, hold on, hold on, St stop. I, I can't read that, it's too, too, can someone get me an iPad? <clears throat> All right, so it looks like it's supposed to start raining around six. Wait, wait, wait a minute, that, that's not right. My, my knees feel fine. There's supposed to be a thunderstorm at 11. I don't want that to come true. You have to follow the script, that's the job. All right, uh... Oh, here's a good one. A high of 72 and a low of 54 on Monday. On Tuesday, a high of... Actually, I don't have to tell you the temperature every day. It's going to be kind of hot this week. Grow up. Speaking of hot, is uh, anyone feeling these lights? Oh. Oh. I'm hot. Oh. Is it itchy in here? <gasps> More. Watch out for big tornadoes. <laughs> Just kidding. Or am I? Should we pull him off the set? <sighs> we literally have no one else to do the weather. And plus, he's enlightening. I'm sure that's just part of the process. Hey, are you guys talking about me? How am I doing? How's the ratings? <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> TV is so fun. <laughs> do you guys want to grab drinks after this? Should we exchange emails? Yeah, it's channel 16. Not 60. Do you see me? Does dad see me? I don't want to talk about this right now. I am not coming home. Stop, 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 no. You guys can cut all this out later, right? This is live? Is my tie too big? I know it's a bit big, but is it too big? Your tie is fine. Well, I wasn't gonna look like some idiot with a tiny tie, was I? You know, deep down, I'm afraid of thunder. <laughs> Did you know that lightning only strikes liars? Tell the truth. I'll be good, I'll be good, I'll be good, I swear, I swear, I'll be good. I'm having a vision. The clouds are parting. Angels. I see angels. Angels of death. The weather hath come to take what we have stolen from it. This, this is too much. Producers breathing down my neck. Lights, cameras. Oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, we thinking drinks at six or, uh, I'll just start a text chain. Thank you so much for having us, Maggie. This place looks amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be a great game and a great night. Aww.
on a night we won't remember with friends we'll never forget. Yeah, I, I guess you can put it that way. Hey, what are those? These? They're just nachos. Oh, uh, I thought they might be tachos. Um, what, what was that? I thought they might be tachos, Jen. We heard what you said, but what are, what are tachos? You know, like nachos, but with tater tots? Oh. No, just regular nachos. <laughs> so, did you guys catch a game last week? Well, it's not too late. Why? It's not too late to make tachos. She already made nachos. They look great, Matthew. Thanks, Dan. She only has like three toppings on there. Kristen, what are we talking about? I'm saying what we're all thinking. If Maggie wanted to, she could still serve tachos. I, I don't think anybody's asking for tachos. <laughs> Out loud. I, I don't even know what that is. Tachos? It couldn't be any clearer. They're like nachos, but instead of chips, they're made with tater tots. Well, if they're so similar, then why does it matter? <laughs> oh, 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 they're similar. That's saying that the uh, French Revolution is similar to World War II. Yeah, I'm a history buff now. Okay, everyone, let's just calm down. I think once we all eat, we'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs> Eating those damn nachos. Well, no one is now. Hey, Dan! Okay, okay! We can have tachos. Just calm down, Kristen. Honey, I'm scared. Oh, oh. Uh, you're telling me you had tots this whole time. You absolute madman! Look, look. I'm making them for you. Huh. You know, uh, that's not how they usually serve tachos. Is it Maggie? Who's they? I, uh... I, I, is that? Or is that not how they usually make tachos, Maggie? I don't know, you're insane! Tachos aren't even a real thing! You're right. Tachos aren't a real thing. But they're all I had. When my mother died in that horrible nacho accident, I, I couldn't eat another nacho without becoming viscerally ill. I had to make up tachos with nothing but my imagination. <laughs> so sorry. How can we forget about the, the nacho accident? How can we be so insensitive? I'm sorry, Kristen. <laughs> and look, I'll still make those tachos for us to enjoy. Okay, but seriously, you're making them wrong. Are you sick and tired of big video? Does Netflix and chill sound like a goddamn nightmare to you? Do you just want to experience the art of raw filmmaking? Then come on down to Harry and Victor's home video hullabaloo! We're two best friends who put our home videos on a store where you guys come in and buy it from us then take them all the way back to your house and watch them. We took videos of us and our kids and our pets and stuff and put it on the shelves. Are you telling me? Oh, you know exactly what I'm telling you. We have deep cuts from our past. Holy cow! And our present. Wow. Whoa! And for our grand opening, we're busting down with deals. If you cancel your Netflix subscription and buy one of our videos, we'll let you take one of our wives home for the night. We're just kidding, we're not married! We're best friends! We share a bed. Willy Wonka style, of course. Wonka style. The one that I got is, in a word, transformative. Groundbreaking. Your salt of the earth movie. Hey! What's going on? Oh, God. Are you as tired of streaming as we are? <sighs> the only streaming we want to see is our pee on the heads of Hulu's highest executives. I couldn't have said it better myself. You know what, Harry? What, Victor? You're my best friend. And you're mine. I got a tape of Victor and Harry at the prom. Oh my gosh, what a magical evening. The music, the ambiance, the dancing. It really made me feel like I was there with them. Where is she? I don't think Sarah's coming, man. 
What's he there? Stop filming me! I just hope they're still best friends. We are! So come on down to Harry and Victor's Home Video Hullabaloo! We're two best friends who put our home videos in a store where you guys come in and buy- Oh, we're done? Okay. I guess I'll leave set then. Uh, you guys go to that show later? Uh, yeah, I think so. Sounds like it's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, I heard a lot of people are going. I'm excited. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I'm definitely going to that fucking show. Yeah, man. Sounds like you're pretty excited. I didn't mean to let those words slip. <laughs> Anybody got a bar of soap I could wash my mouth out with? Why would you need soap for your mouth? Well, I just swore, so... <laughs> you don't have to do that. I mean, we're all adults here. We can say whatever we want. Yeah, I know about the First Amendment. I'm not stupid. I just have a dirty mouth. It's, it's really not a big deal. You know what? You guys are lucky. I brought my own. You should put that in your mouth. <laughs> what? Why would it not go in my mouth if it's perfectly mouth shaped? Um, I kind of lost my train of thought for a second there. What were we talking about? Yeah, what the ass were we talking about? Uh oh! <laughs> you guys know the drill. Seriously, what is going on? Like, is this, like, a joke or something? Where's the joke? We don't know, man. Like, you keep sticking the soap in your mouth. Is it a bit? I told you! I have a potty mouth because I said potty words. All right? If I was telling a joke, you guys wouldn't be able to stop laughing, you wouldn't be breathing, and you'd be shitting your pants! Looks like I have to take an extra big bite this time. Wait, you're... Eating it? That can't be safe. Oh no, you, you are what you eat, and I'm clean, so. Yeah. Dude, spit it out. No, it, it's just like when, when you drink bleach to get rid of all the harmful bacteria, you know? No! no! You guys obviously don't respect me or my lifestyle! You can't eat soap! Is this why you wore knee pads? Because you knew you were gonna fall to your knees? You know what? I'm out of here. I'm so tired. Someone call an ambulance and get this endless white void out of here. Fucking. Uh oh! And so that's why we're sleeping in separate beds. Oh. oh. Um. Um. Well, thank you so much for having us. I mean, it's been such a treat for you. Oh, me. of course. You're welcome back anytime, and you can host Thanksgiving next year. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess we should be going. You know, we don't want to hit traffic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. I'll walk you guys out. No. What? What's wrong? Can't you see? There's a banana peel. You can slip on it. We could all slip on it! Okay, thanks. Love ya. So, what did the fire department say? Nothing they could do. They said they might slip. Well, can't they just pick up Betty, the- Betty, you shut your mouth! You have done enough already! So long. I'm so hungry. I'm sorry, Benny. But we're gonna have to eat you first. There's no need for that. We have so many more bananas. Kobe! Get me out of this prison! Are we sure that he 
even if we step over the banana peel, we'll slip? Are you out of your mind? I don't think I'm so goddamn sure of anything in my life. Ah, I can't do this anymore! I'm not gonna sit here for the rest of my life! Hold this. I'm gonna do it. No! 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 no. no. It's okay. I'm ready. No! Impressionable kiss. Aww. Don't go crazy. Aren't you supposed to be magical? Come play with us. The only magical thing about me is that I'm still alive after last weekend. You don't want to play with me, Pipsqueak. You could never go five rounds against me in the Jägermeister ring. Jaeger what, sir? Forget it. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <gasps> crazy! What? Thanks for bringing me to life and all. But I gotta go take some Christmas joy elsewhere, if you know what I mean. Hey! <laughs> Not so fast, kid! Oh, what are you doing, man? You think picking on other kids is funny, huh? You acting out because your parents don't treat you well enough at home? You think if you get into trouble, people will see it as a cry for help and they'll actually do something about it? Well, tough luck, kid. I see a lot of myself in you. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't get better. Just look at me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I am too. I can't. Not again! Get out of here, kid! Go on, scram. What? Scared of the truth? That's life, kids. The sooner you learn that, the better. Thank you so much for watching. Children, that's why you should never bully others. And let's get a huge round of applause to the Thompson County Community Theater Group. Bravo, kids! Bravo! I just wanted to see how it would feel. Hi! Would you like to buy some fresh lemonade? Hmm. Not particularly. Do you have a dry rate, perhaps? No. How about a surreptitious white with a little bit of bite to it? Um, we have lemonade. Alright, fine. I'll take it. 
But I will have you know, I studied at the Cordon Bleu. Enjoy! What do you suggest I pair with this? Uh, how about our cheese of the day? It's a craft cheese single. I don't think I will. Jesus. Is this what you call lemonade, you, you maris? This tastes like... This tastes like figures! Julia Child is rolling in her grave right now. I wish I had the time machine so I could go back and knock myself out cold so that I never came here and put this garbage in my mouth! Oh, no, 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 sir! Just give us one more chance and I, and I promise you'll like it! All right, but I want it fresh, you hear me? Fresh! Yes, sir! Behind! 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 Um, oh, God. Would you, would you like to try some of our crudités? Well, if I'm going to write an honest review, I might as well try the ourselves. Review? Oh! What? You thought this was going to be easy? That running a lemonade stand was going to be fun? This is a real world! All down with all of the oomph to back it up. This is the most delicious, flavorful lemonade I've ever seen! You two are looking at a five-star review! I said the animal crackers with the sprinkles. What is this, your first day? She was sorry. I said it back. No! Fuck you, can you call those dino nuggets? Those are shit! I'm good! I'm good! I'm good! You think I passed third grade for this shit? Mm -hmm. Fuck me! happy we finally got to go on this date. Yeah, I'm glad we finally got the chance to get to know each other better. I think you're a really sweet girl. Well, I think you're a really sweet guy. Hi guys, welcome to Denny's. Can I get you anything to drink? Yeah, can I just get a Diet Coke, please? And for the lady, I'll take about two. Do 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 what the hell is happening right now? It's opening night at Rosemont High's Drama Club, so you know what that means. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I'll be back with your drinks. They didn't get to order. She was good if you know what I mean. Well, I guess it's free entertainment. Right. Entertainment. So, tell me about what you do for a living. Oh, well, right now I'm just doing some uh, counseling work at this retirement consulting agency. Very boring stuff, I know. I just do it to pay the bills. Um, what about you? I'm getting my PhD in psychology. This car is automatic. It's systematic. It's hydromatic. Why, it could be Gurry's lightning. We'll get some overhead lifters and some four barrel quads, oh yeah. Keep talking, boo, keep talking. A few of them, excuse me. Do you mind getting the fuck away from our table? Jeez, everyone's a critic. <laughs> Kids, right? Right. Kids. Uh, speaking of which, do you want kids of your own one day, or...? Wow, you're asking me this on the first date? Sorry, we can talk about that. No, I'm right just now. a mess with you. Um, I don't know. I, I had kind of a rough childhood. My dad left when I was young, and 
my mom had to work both day and night shifts, so I guess I'm not really sure what being a parent looks like. Oh God, I'm not even sure what being a kid looks like. There are worse things I could do. Hey guys, I'm back in the drinks. Then go with your boy or two. Is she okay? Even though the neighborhood thinks I'm trashy and no good, I suppose it could be true. That's the worst thing I could do. Michelle Offermillo. And Anya Popko. Thank you guys. It has been a pleasure working with you guys over the years. Can't wait to see you in the future.